Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? It's been a long time, long time no see. And I really want to make some more RPG related videos. However, today I'm going to do another video about music stuff. And this is bass guitar stuff and specifically about bass guitar gig bags. So it's going to be kind of a shootout, sort of. It's going to be my experience with these particular gig bags and the pros and cons of each. Because, you know, I hate carrying around stuff in hard cases. I really just don't like it. And for years and years, I've used gig bags to good effect. And the gig bag I had for a long time, which they do not make anymore, unfortunately, was this undercover gig bag. And I believe the company is defunct. I tried to get in contact with them because the zipper broke a while ago. I got this thing in 1984 from Goldie and Lee Rhodes, which is also defunct, in New Haven, Connecticut. And this thing just was a monster. And I, I gigged and had a ton of different bases in this thing. And, you know, it's just, you know, heavy duty Kedora and, and, you know, just great stuff. And this, uh, I think, like suede, uh, you know, whatever the heck it is here, you know. Here and it was just wonderful. The zippers finally broke, and I would use this thing today, but they don't make them anymore. If you can find one of these things, awesome. These things are just you know tough as nails. But oh well. And I just don't have the heart to throw it away, even though I should, because I talked to a, a luggage guy. You know the people you know put these zippers back in, and he's like, listen, it's going to cost you two hundred bucks because the zipper is going to be a hundred dollars. I actually need another zipper here, and he's like, you just buy another case. And so I still I'm like heartbroken. I don't know what to do with this thing, but. This isn't about that. So what cases are we going to talk about? I've got a few of them here. I've got this Gator Progo gig bag, which I believe is the top of the line Gator. Uh, when I bought my blue Valenti base, it came in this. And even though it was a Verrazano series, which comes with a lower model of, of Gator gig bag, you know, I paid Nino an extra 50 bucks and said, hey, why don't you, can, you, can you give me one of the, the better cases? So I've got this sucker. Um, the other cases I've got, when I bought my natural the four-string Valenti bass from Funky Judge, he sent me one in one of these cases. Not this one, but another one. This is a, this is a Contigo Protec, uh, sort of gig bag-ish thing. It's sort of like almost a hybrid, but it's really a gig bag. Uh, so this is you know, a little triangular thing here. And last but not least, I've got one of these uh, Reunion Blues Continental Voyager cases, which I did a lot of research on, which seemed to be pretty cool as well. I, I looked at the two varieties of mono cases, the, the higher um, quality ones, and you know, I was kind of on the fence about those, and I heard enough cautionary tales, you know, um, I heard very mixed reviews on them. So I didn't get one, so I don't have any direct experience with those. So I simply, you know, can't speak about them. I know lots of people use them, and I love them, and all that kind of stuff. But I'll talk about these cases and, you know, the pros and cons I've found with these so far. Now, the Reunion Blues, this, this Continental Voyager, is like top of the line, indestructible, really, really cool case. I really like this case. It ergonomically, it bounces just right. It's got this little, you know, side carry thing right here, you know. Um, I haven't used the backpack strap, so I can't really comment on that, but they are in there. There they are. Um, they look pretty cool. I haven't used the backpack straps on any of these, by the way. Just haven't had the opportunity to do that. This is this is really awesome. This comes in handy all the time, and it's this really cool handle. You can just kind of dig in there. It's not a it's not a handle handle like this. It's just a little recess thing, but it's super super tough. And that I use that all the time. Uh, inside this thing, I mean, you, you can find tons of videos, so I'm not going to like belabor the point. Uh, it's cool. I love this little thing. It kind of straps over the neck of your base, and you know, got these little removable doodads right here, which is cool. I actually bought a guitar size one for a short scale base of mine. It was a Hamer Slammer. Uh, I forget the actual series, but it was one I bought my daughter like almost 20 years ago, uh, a little less than that, for like $200. And she gave it back to me because her husband's a bass player and they uh, and guitar player. And they've got stuff and they just had a baby. I have a granddaughter. Uh, she's like three months, almost four months old. And yeah, pretty awesome, but like, they don't have a lot of room. So it's got that and it's got like some room here for some stuff. And the one thing about the, the, uh, this particular case, it, you know, is that it's really awesome protection for your bass guitar. Like, phenomenal. You're not going to put a lot of stuff in this pocket. You're just not. You, you could kind of stretch it out, but, like, there's not a lot of padding here. So if you're going to, like, try to put effects pedals or stuff in here, you know, eh, I don't know. So you can put a few cables in here. That's probably about it. You know, um, you know music notes, that sort of thing. But if you're looking for a case where you, you're just going to bring that case into the gig, like, I'm going to bring my case and my head and my cabinets, it might not be it, depending on how many cables you need to bring or, or stuff you need to bring. You know, if it's just a speaker cable and an instrument cable, yeah, you probably could do it. But if you're looking for like, to bring more stuff and you don't want to have a lot of trips, that's probably not the case for you. Um, or it's going to be some problems. This sucker was a surprise. 
you know, when I when I bought the bass from from Doug from Frankie Judge, he actually sent it um, in a case that used to belong to his wife for another Valenti bass. Yeah, it says Valenti Honest. I never really heard of these things, so I talked to Nino. I said, you know, afterwards, and said, you know, how come we don't use these anymore? He goes, well, they're really awesome, but I wanted to have something that was, I wanted to offer things that were like kind of like um, homogenous. And so you can get the the, the, uh, the lower quality Gator case or the better quality Gator case. I hope I'm not like misrepresenting what he said. Um, and uh, I wish he still used these, to be honest with you. These things are awesome. He, he did also mention uh, that a lot of their other stuff is not all that great. But this particular item is awesome. And it is awesome. This thing is a phenomenal case. This is the sleeper in the whole thing. Uh, the uh, This sucker is real expensive. 250 maybe, something like that. Worth every penny. Absolutely. I just the guitar case I just bought for the little one costs more than the guitar cost. You know the bass guitar. <laughs> I was laughing with my friends about that, but that's common that we do stuff like that. So it's got a bunch of pockets. Um, it's got you know really really heavy duty straps. This little thing you know it, it's really good. And it's also got a lot of room in all these pockets for stuff. So it's got more room in this case for for cables and and wires and, and junk like that than our um, our reunion blues one has you know room in this pocket here you really can't put an effects pedal in it but you can put some other stuff in that one uh and let's see should i open it up yeah i probably should open the sucker up even though you might have seen one of these things on my channel before when i unwrap this space so here you go cool it's got another one of these great little things that wraps around the neck which i think is awesome and it's like a little side pocket which i don't know what you're gonna put in there and you put picks it's really small but so it's cool so i really really dig this case a lot um and this is the Gator. And the Gator, you know, overall, uh, out of these three cases, this is the one that I feel the least confident in, in terms of, of uh, durability. Not necessarily protective quality, but durability. Maybe, maybe even protective quality. Like this thing is a tank. The Contigo is a tank. So is the Reunion Blues um, uh, bag. This thing is a little, it just feels a little bit less like a tank. And I, I don't know if over time, it's a little more fragile. I mean, it certainly doesn't, you know, like uh, exude fragility. But compared to the other ones, it's, it seems to be a little less robust. Um, ergonomically, you know, the, even though the handle like, looks like it's in the exact same place, for some reason it's not quite as ergonomic uh, to me. Although, I'll get into that in a bit. I did an experiment and I, it was a little more ergonomic than I thought. But still, just it doesn't feel as ergonomic. This handle as well, it's cool. It's, I wish it was up a little higher, like the one on the uh, Reunion Blues, because it tends to kind of do that. Uh, it's you know, also got backpack straps. It's got some kind of rain poncho for the base to make it even more waterproof and whatnot. Um, let's see, inside the case, it does not have that nifty little thing that wraps around the neck of the base, which is kind of sad. But it does have this thing. It is kind of adjustable and whatnot. You know, it's, it's a good quality case. There's nothing, you know, nothing wrong with it. And... Um, you know, protective-wise, I think I think it's right up there. You know, it's just a, I think probably a step below the other ones. It is somewhere in the middle of them price-wise, I believe. And I think I think these things right now are about a buck seventy. I just looked on Amazon, and I didn't look for these, but uh, they're they're a little more expensive. They're somewhere in the middle. This thing excels at bringing stuff to a gig. <clears throat> I used this on the last two gigs I've been on um, because you can just put a bunch of junk in it. Like this pack, you know, uh, thing up here is big enough for an effects pedal. I brought my uh, my tuner pedal along in that. Uh, you can stick a lot more cables in this thing, uh, which is cool. It just it kind of expands out a little bit more. Is it more padded? Yes, yeah, it's, it's padded. It's a little more padded than the the um, the other cases, especially the um, the Reunion Blues one. As far as you know, like so, I feel a little more comfortable if I've got stuff in here. It's not going to get busted uh, as easily. And it's got a very, very nice, it's probably got the nicest laptop, or, or I'm sorry, the nicest uh, iPad sort of thing. I don't know if you can really see this here, but this little iPad container, you kind of stick it in there. That's, that's nice, a little fleece, you know, it's really nice, you can live in there. So it's pretty cool. So, I mean, I like all of these cases. They're all cool. They all seem to have their own niche. Um, this one, the reason it felt even more or less ergonomic, it kept on doing this to me, I realized I had a lot of stuff in here. I had all these cables and whatnot. And I'm picking this up, it's going like that. And I think I had the Reunion Blues with another bass uh, last night. And that one felt so much more ergonomic. But I realized I just had a lot of junk in this one. So it's really, really useful for that. I'm not going to knock any of these cases. This is the one definitely uh, might be my top pick if I was going to bring a lot of stuff to a gig uh, besides the bass. I didn't want to bring 
an extra bag. And oh, the other great thing about these videos, I'm the heaviest I've ever been. My friend Anthony has, has mentioned that in my videos, you can kind of see my weight transformation over time, up and down, <laughs> what have you. And so it's horrifying right now. Our, um, our Contigo here, yeah, see, it's not really padded. You can put a ton of stuff in there, so it's a little less protective, and you can carry a little less stuff. And then finally, our, our Reading Blues Continental Voyager, not a lot of stuff you're gonna put there, but protects your base the best. The one I tend to grab the most, if it's just I'm throwing the base in there and nothing else, is this one. It ju it's just the most comfortable grab and go um, for me. This one is, is really a close second. That's why I mean, I, I really, you know, if I had to do a compromise, like what case I absolutely, if I can only have one of these, it might be this one. These are really, really good and they're just a bargain. Yeah. Imagine a buck seven is a bargain, but in, in the in the world of high end gig bags, and if you're like absolutely positively just need to bring more junk to the gig, and not tons, you're not going to put tons and tons of pedals and whatnot here, but you know a few cables or what have you, or more notes or, or whatever, uh, 200 pedal or some kind of other pedal. I don't think you're not going to fit two in here. I don't think unless you're using really small ones. The uh, the Gator's pretty cool. I, I don't know if the the step down. Gator gig bag it has as much room, but this one is, is pretty cool. So this would be my uh, this is my choice um, for taking you know not bringing a bag of other stuff. The last few gigs I decided I didn't want to bring as much stuff. Wow, this video is going long, but that's kind of my <coughs> excuse me real world comparison of these three cases. There are you know the Gator Pro Go, the Contigo Pro Tech. They're all pro. It's a Pro Tech Pro Tech. <laughs> And a Reunion Blues Continental Voyager. Look, look, I can pick that up. That's great. So, all cool cases. You know, all seem to work relatively well. Um, but those are my impressions through real-world use. Real-world use. That's it. Talk to you later, kids.